in the name of Jesus Christ, respect and love to Pastor Spielman in his absence. Go past the Arnie's, Elder Crowd, Mother Jones in her absence, Minister Thomas Tanner, Overseer Jones, to all of God's people. Somebody ought to shout, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The sun is shining. I don't care how cold it is out there. It's all right. Get on the coat. I seen some folks last night. It's 30 degrees in shorts. Well, you got on shorts. What you been over like this for? Put on some clothes. You can duck. Around. I don't care. I'm going to put on my clothes. I, I'm glad it got cold. I got a chance to wear my white coat the other crowd. Look, she said, Lord. No, she, she, she said, well. <laughs> well, amen. Matthew chapter 16. Amen. Matthew chapter 16. I feel preaching this morning, y'all. All right. Yeah, Matthew Preach. chapter 16, verse 15. I'm just going to hit that one verse. And verse 13 to 18 is the text. Psalm 91 is the backdrop. All right. Amen. And we are going to read verse 15. Amen. And he saith unto them, But who say ye that I am? Is that right? <laughs> but who say ye? That I am. Here is the subject. Jesus, whom say ye that I am? The question is profound and divine. You and I are often labeled differently by different folks. We are often labeled incorrectly by gossip, lies, and innuendos. My Lord. And there are various times in our lives when somebody say, do you know that old Murray? Mm. You don't know me. You think you know me. Well, because in different settings and different instances, you will get a different opinion of an individual and so often in the crowd, we try to measure how folks are based on hello. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes when you tell me hello, I'm not feeling hello because I'm burning down. Yeah. But what do we do, Minister Tanner? We always like to make somebody feel like they done done us wrong. How about when somebody don't say hello like you need them to say hello? You just embrace them with a more powerful hello that lift up their spirit and maybe let them know you love them anyhow. Because every day you see somebody, you ain't at your best. That's right. That's right. You want to act sanctified. Come on, man. But I am convinced the declaration of divine image of Jesus was established way before Matthew chapter 16. Mm -hmm. Did anyone read in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made. Now somebody said overseer, yes, that's John 1. It is, but it's talking about the beginning. Don't mess with me, y'all. I got you. Uh, in uh, all of our getting, we are required, Michelle, to get and understand. And when you think you know somebody, you need to get an understanding of the various moods. We don't like to tell that truth, do Of people. Come on now. Nah, it's Sunday. You're supposed to be happy. Well, what, you, what, you, you ain't been messed up all week long. So you also supposed to hit a switch something and get happy? Burdens are real. That's why Psalm 34 said, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of all of them. If anybody in here ever had a tough week? You get to Sunday and your week's still tough, but you just need the Lord to help you get through another moment. Not a day, but a moment that you'll be able to say, Thank you, in spite of my pain. Amen, amen, amen. Our yes. identities. Yes. You need to be determined in various aspects. And most of all, your character should always remain intact no matter what you're going through. The problem with 
a lot of folks is folks can't figure out who you are because every time they see you, you're somebody different. Yeah. I don't care if I got on a more raggedy looking jeans or I got on a suit or I got on a collar and a long robe. I'm the same person all the time. I'm not always praising the Lord, but I've always got a love in God in my heart. I always care how somebody else is doing. I always want to help somebody along my way. And I never have an agenda to harm anybody. You got to have a character that let somebody know you have been born again. Amen, amen. Yes. Now, Elder Brown, you know the problem about us? We ain't born again until we sing. Jesus. We ain't born again until you give us a mic and say you can preach. Well. How about you be born again when somebody else sing? Amen. By praising God for the song that they sing. Praising God for the ability of that person to praise God while they're going through a storm. You know, we whine too much. We whine too much. God is blessing all of us. I don't care what you're going through. He has already given you a skip. He said, and with his stripes, hey, 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 you hey. are healed. Amen. But what happens to us is we rely on all of the earthly stuff to elevate us to a divine place, and it never will happen. you got to go back to where God said, for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The only way you're going to get everlasting life, you've got to connect with Jesus. And when you connect with Jesus, he ought to connect with your heart. And when he connects with your heart, your heart ought to connect with your actions. And your actions ought to help somebody know Jesus is real. Yes, yes, yes. Let's talk about it now. We talking about Jesus. Who do you say he is? Well, well, first of all, the only way you can say something about him, you got to get to know him. Relationship. Hello, somebody. Yes. You can look at Lady Arnie, you can look at anybody else and try to figure out how Jesus is through them. But it ain't nothing like knowing him for yourself. It ain't nothing like being able to call on his name for yourself. It ain't nothing like praising his name for yourself. It's nothing like knowing that when I call him back, he shows up. I bet you, I, 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 I guarantee you, ain't nobody here can say the Lord have ever failed you yet. Come on now. Now, we failed him, but he ain't never failed us. Never. The question is, Jesus, who say you that I am? What you got to say? What you got to say? You know, the old folks say he's a wheel uh -huh. in the middle of the wheel. He's a rose of sharing the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, but he's more than that. Did you hear him when they say he is? Lord, I feel it coming. My all and all. He is everything that mama told me he would be. I read in the word of the Lord when the Lord went down by the river Jordan, saw his cousin John the Baptist. He proclaimed, I must need be baptized. And John said, Suffering to be so, Lord, I'm not even worthy. Your shoes, but I need somebody in here to tell the Lord because of what I know for myself. I'm gonna wave my hand, what I know for myself. I got to shout hallelujah, what I know for myself. I can tell somebody down by the river Jordan. I heard the proclaim of God when John baptized Jesus. He rose up out the water. Jesus said, thank you, John. But did you hear that voice from heaven when the Lord God said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. You ought to thank God that Jesus be baptized, went up into the wilderness, forty days and forty nights, Satan tempted him. So what you get not said when they mess with you, if you mess with Jesus, he gonna mess with you. You ought to shout, thank you, God. Thank you for showing me the power of divine love. Thank you for showing me every time I miss you. Every time I turn around, the Lord, he keeps on blessing me. But I got news for you. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Jesus will deliver you. 
you. And it won't just deliver you, Michelle. He'll set you free. And gee, he's a healer. With a charm, he's a deliverer. Christ, who do you 
say that Jesus is all right. That's the end of it. Go on and tell somebody, he is my everything.
who are taking the sin. Don't just be making no noise. Your praise ought to have a melody to God. Amen. Your lifestyle ought to have a melody to God. Even in our ups and downs, all of us been sick. But how many of y'all can raise your hand and say we all been healed? Amen. God is a sustainer. I remember the Sunday the other crowd got real sick. But you know how God blessed her? She was feeling bad, but she never left her post. Come on. That's why God keeping you. Because you're faithful. And there's too many people that the Lord have blessed. And you ain't never told nobody yet who Jesus is. Sometimes you ain't got to say nothing. You just got to let your light shine. And if you let it shine, it will inspire somebody. All I'm asking you to do is stand up bold. Like you do for y'all football team and y'all basketball team. Stand up bold for Jesus. Because the benefits and the rewards are great. Now, some of y'all might put $10 on the square last Sunday. You ain't always guaranteed your square gonna come out right. But I guarantee you, if you put something on Jesus, you come out a winner every time. Every time. Here's the reason. The blood <laughs> that Jesus
going to proclaim.
got to change everything about yourself and make your walk with Christ your lifestyle. Amen. Yes. Amen. I don't care what folks say you are. They're going to mess you. You can be everything on the sun. But if you're connected to God, no matter what folks say your lifestyle is, when your lifestyle is divinely connected to Jesus Christ, tell them go to hell. Amen. I didn't cuss. Anything that's not with God is against God. Thank you. And we God's children. And if it's against us and our walk with Christ, they're not striving to get to heaven. Tell them God where they're going. Talk that stuff right there. And the only way you can get to that place is your relationship with Jesus Christ. Can't nobody, Glenn, can't nobody tell nobody who Jesus is to you. They can't tell you who Jesus is to you, pup. Oh, I ain't never seen you talk in tongue. You ain't supposed to see me talk in tongue. Because if I talk in tongue, I ain't talking to you no how. No, see? I'm so busy one I'm not talking in tongues, you ain't even learning how to pray for yourself. Come on, amen. I thought I was doing preaching. <laughs> <laughs> no, you thought it was good. You're talking good. God is good. Yes, And all of us been through some stuff. Back pain and everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some days can't eat, some days can't stand on your feet. Aggravation for kids. I know I was a very aggravating child, but I tried my best to make it up to my mom and daddy when I got grown and the Lord blessed me to have stuff. I tried my best to show them I appreciate them not killing me when I was acting the criminal. <laughs> Let me put a word in his other crap. I said, I should have been up there in Maine, Bella Haven somewhere. But the Lord said, see our lives ain't.